Hey everyone, we're here in Wichita with a very special Extra Mile Award. I am joined by Captain Banning and Firefighter Reigns. Uh, we've got a special one to celebrate with you today, so without further ado, let's go celebrate. We have two uh, gentlemen with the Valley Center Fire Department with us today. We're here to uh, award someone for a very special accomplishment, uh, act of uh, heroism. Heroism? Come on with heroism. Uh, uh, Corey, come on up for a minute, would you please? Corey, Corey's, how long have you been here? Six months? Five months. Uh, a couple months in, back in October, I'll just read you the account. Uh, Sunday morning, October 3rd, about 6 a.m., Corey's driving to Walmart to get some charcoal for his smoker. Gonna do a little Sunday uh, football ribs. <laughs> While driving through uh, Meridian and Valley Center, he noticed a house on fire. As he got closer, he saw an elderly woman in the front yard so he pulled over and asked if she was okay. She screamed there were still two people inside of the home along with her phone, so she could not call 911. He quickly called 911, uh, said there was a house on fire, and then hung up. Uh, he noticed the back of the home had not caught fire, so he went around back and found a woman with burns on the right side of her body screaming for help. She told him her father was still inside. He was able to gain access to the back of the residence, but could not see due to the smoke. Uh, he crawled around on his hands and knees starting to feel until he found a body laying on the floor. Uh, he grabbed the man under the arms and was able to drag him out of the house into the yard. Once he got about 10 feet from the house, the entire back of the room where they were flashed over and caught on fire. About the same time, the Valley Center police officer showed up and a few minutes later they took over patient care and he assisted the fire department with stretching out the hoses off the truck. Uh, both of the victims were transported in critical condition, uh, but to our knowledge, they are still alive today. So, very uh, exciting, compelling story. And so, the fire department decided to show up today. They wanted to present him with his plaque as well. Uh, do you gentlemen have anything you'd like to say? Just like, thank you for stopping. I don't know how many people drove by and didn't see it or hard not to notice it, but thank you. And that's, thank you very much.